Hey guys, welcome back to camp. Came up today. I'm gonna be putting our solar in our shed today. At least that's the plan. Uh, like I said, I have everything. My last video there, everything's been pre wired. So, really, all I have to hang it, hook up the bed. Hook the panels up, and we should be good to go. So I'll show you some of that as we get into it. Um, should hang right there, no problem. Batteries down below. Uh, so I have about four hours up here today. So I'm gonna see how much. Okay, guys. Step one, got it done. As you can see, you can kind of see what I have here. EP Ever. Um, not the best brand, but for up here it's going to work. At the house I have uh, Midnight Solar. 3000 watt pure sign. A little fuse panel. Breakers for different things. And this is going to be a switch over eventually. Uh, it'll be on solar. But if somebody comes up here and the solar is not working, they can start a generator. And that will automatically switch over. That way I don't have to really worry about showing anybody too much anything. So that's step one. Step two here. Get the batteries in. So that's going to be what I'm going to do. Um, shouldn't be, there again, not much of a problem. I already have all the wiring. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get the batteries in. And then test everything, hook up the solar. And I'll show you them when we get there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the batteries in. Well guys, got that hooked up. As you can see, we've got, I don't know whether it's going to show, 12 and 12.8 volts. These are six volt golf cart batteries, Duracell, GC2s, like most people that have these little, little setups. Came from Sam's Club. I don't know. They went up to, I think they're 135 a piece. I don't even remember. Um, so, last thing I have to do is hook up the panels. I have 600 watts. They're Renal. Renology, uh, 100 watt panels, six of them. So that's 600 watts. For now, I'm going to put them out in front of the camper. Um, then we'll definitely, uh, well, I guess we can test it now, see if it comes on here. Yeah, she's on. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and hook up. Controls. I hope this we'll have to see how it stands up to the weather. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get them panels hooked up. See how far we can go with them. Alright guys, got the panels hooked up. I only hooked up uh, three of them 300 watts. Um I'll show you here in a second the problems that I didn't anticipate. But once again we got a Rena Renology Renology Ren Renogy Renogy 300 or 3,000 watt inverter. Got some DC breakers. Um, this is a transfer switch. Um, and that'll... I'll hook an outlet up to that. So the power will always be coming from solar. And then if we start a generator, it'll automatically switch over. Almost the reverse. Um... I'm using the solar kind of as a grid. Um, don't need much of this because I'm going to use the camper. But we have that. Um, and up on top here, which will be eventually in the camper, we have the meter for the EP Ever. Once again, we're not Rendigy battery monitor on off switch for that. And that'll be inside. So. Um, right 
cow. I don't know. Well, this is a better example. Right as it sits right now, panels are 57.6 volts, 2.6 amps. Going into the batteries, 14.7 volts and 9.7 amps. Um, right now we're putting 9 amps into the batteries more than we're taking out. Um, I've decided I'm only going to hook up 300 watts uh, for right now, which will leave me 300. But I was going to line them up along here, but it's really not. It's too high. Obviously, the land's into. I didn't really think about that. So right now, um, 300. Eventually, we're going to put them up on top there. So uh, the sun most times comes right through here, but was shaded by that big old pine there a second ago. So, anyways, that's it. Going to get this mess picked up. Um, figure out what I'm going to do in the interim. Like I say, I still have 300 watts of panels. So, um, guys, if you have any questions, there again, not sure I'll be able to answer them, but I'm, I'll be more than glad to try to help you out. Um, all the wires are have been appropriately sized. Um, I'm short the wires. I had to order some wires. I thought I might have had some kicking around, but I don't. What I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see down in here, the fuse panel. i got to figure out what's going into the camp or what's going to the trailer lights. Um, what's going where. So, that's the setup. Seems to be working right now. Pretty straightforward. You know, two, two six volts, tie them together for 12 and then run them together for 12 volts. Each one of these batteries is, I think, depends what stat you look at, 205 or 235 amps. So let's call it 200. So you got 246 divided by 2, 300. Um, you don't want to drag them down more than half, 50%. So I've got uh, 300 amps. Sounds like not a lot, but when a camper is designed to be efficient, um, unless we run a coffee maker or something, we should be fine. So, anyways, guys, thanks for checking in at camp. Um, I'll see you next time. Take her easy. Bye.